Not all revolutions in space involve rockets. Some start with the suits we wear up there. And SpaceX is quietly changing the way astronauts move outside their spacecraft. They are trying to change how spacewalks work in the future. One of their boldest plans is a jetpack. Yes, a real working jetpack, built into their new suit for spacewalks. NASA tested jetpacks long ago, but stopped using them because of safety problems. Now, SpaceX is bringing the idea back in a smarter and safer way. The big question is, why is SpaceX doing this? And how will they make it safe and useful? If you like updates like this, subscribe for daily space news. On September 12, 2024, during a mission called Polaris Dawn, a crew member became the first private astronaut to do a spacewalk. But this spacewalk was more than just a first for a private company. It was a test for SpaceX's new spacesuit, made for working outside the spacecraft. Doing a spacewalk is not easy. When the astronauts opened the hatch, all the air inside the spacecraft was removed to create a vacuum, just like in space. Then the astronauts stepped outside, with only the new suit keeping them alive. The suit worked very well. It protected the astronaut from the vacuum and showed that SpaceX had built something strong and reliable. This suit is special because it uses smart materials. These materials are soft when not in use, but become stiff when pressurized. That means astronauts can move easily inside the spacecraft, but still be protected outside. NASA always wanted this kind of suit, but SpaceX made it work. The suit also has strong seals and valves to make sure it holds pressure well. It works at 5.1 pounds per square inch using pure oxygen. This pressure is safer than NASA's older suits, which worked at 3.5 pounds per square inch. It also lets astronauts move more easily than the heavier Russian suits that use 5.9 pounds per square inch. The helmet has special layers that protect astronauts from sunlight and heat. These include a copper layer and another material used to block solar radiation. Inside the helmet is a screen that shows information like pressure, temperature, and humidity. This helps astronauts stay safe and aware of their surroundings. SpaceX also builds these suits in a new way. They use their own tools and techniques to make them fit many body types. That will be very helpful for future missions to the moon or Mars, where astronauts may have to wear the suit for a long time, but making a good suit is not a new problem. In 1965, a Russian astronaut named Alexei Leonov did the first spacewalk. His suit protected him, but it got so inflated in space that he could barely move. He had a hard time getting back into the spacecraft. That moment showed how hard it is to make a suit that keeps you safe, but also lets you move. Now, in 2024, SpaceX faced the same problem and found better answers. Their suit does not puff up like Leonov's. It stays tight and lets astronauts move freely. This is a big step for human spaceflight. Until recently, only governments built spacesuits. Now, private companies like SpaceX are doing it, and sometimes doing it better. And they are doing it faster and cheaper. NASA spent hundreds of millions of dollars over decades building their spacesuits. Each of NASA's current suits can cost between $15 million and $22 million. One report said NASA spent over $600 million on development. SpaceX did not share how much their suit cost, but the Polaris Dawn commander Jared Isaacman said it was built in under a year. He added that SpaceX spent far less than NASA. He said that what took NASA many years and billions of dollars SpaceX and Polaris did in much less time and at a much lower cost. Now let's look at one important difference. NASA's suit has everything built in. It carries its own oxygen, power, cooling system, and radio. It is heavy and complicated. SpaceX took a different path. Their suit connects to the Dragon spacecraft using a long cable. This cable gives astronauts air, power, cooling, and communications. The suit does not have to carry all those systems. That makes the suit lighter, simpler, and easier to move in. This cable is also a safety line. It keeps astronauts from floating away. This idea is not new. In the 1970s, the United States used this system on the Skylab space station. The downside is that astronauts can only move as far as the cable allows. That means it is only good for spacewalks near the spacecraft, not for exploring far away, like on the Moon or Mars. To solve that problem, Musk introduced a new idea. 
he wants to add a jetpack to the suit. This would let astronauts move around without being tied to the spacecraft. This idea is not brand new either. In the 1980s, NASA used a jetpack called the Manned Maneuvering Unit. It let astronauts fly in space without a tether. But after only three missions in 1984, NASA stopped using it. There were two big reasons. First, it was risky. If something went wrong, an astronaut could get lost in space. Second, many tasks that used to need a jetpack could now be done with a robotic arm or with astronauts connected by cables. Also, space shuttle missions that once needed the jetpack were canceled. NASA decided that updating the old jetpack would cost too much and didn't make sense anymore. Later, NASA made a much smaller jetpack. This one is only for emergencies. If an astronaut floats away by mistake, they can use it to return safely. But it is not designed for long flights or full space missions. For now, we do not know the full plan of SpaceX yet. But maybe they will design a version that uses small thrusters to help astronauts move around while staying close to the spacecraft. This would reduce the risk of getting lost. It could also make the jetpack safer than NASA's version. While SpaceX is making big changes, NASA is also working on a new suit. It is called the Artemis suit, and it is being made for the next moon missions. NASA gave the job of making it to Axiom Space, a private company. In March 2023, NASA and Axiom showed a new prototype of the suit. It is called the Axiom Extra Vehicular Mobility Unit. This suit was designed for exploring the moon. It has better movement, stronger protection from the moon's dangerous environment, and smart tools for doing science. The outside of the suit was made to look stylish for the event. It even got help from a costume designer who worked on the TV show For All Mankind. But the real suit under that outer layer was built for hard work. Later, in October 2024, Axiom showed the final version of the suit that will be used on the moon. It was now white, like all lunar suits, to reflect sunlight and protect the astronaut from extreme heat. This time, they got help from Prada, the famous fashion company. Prada worked on the suit's outer layer. This new moon suit is a big improvement over the suits used during the Apollo missions. Astronauts can move better, and the suit has better systems for safety and health tracking. The inside parts of the suit have also been changed many times to improve performance. In July 2025, Axiom shared another update. They partnered with Oakley, the eyewear company, to improve the helmet visor. This new visor gives better vision in space and protects the astronaut's eyes from bright light and dust. It even has a layer of real gold to block sunlight. All of this is important for the moon's south pole, which has very harsh light. These features help reduce how much lunar dust affects the suit. Lunar dust is a big problem because it is sharp and can damage equipment. The new suit is designed to handle that challenge. NASA gave Axiom a contract to build the Artemis suit in 2022. The first contract was worth over $228 million. A year later, NASA gave another contract to make changes to the suit for low-Earth orbit missions, too. In May 2025, Axiom tested the suit underwater at NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Lab to simulate space. Early tests with Koichi Wakata and NASA engineers checked its safety and performance. In the end, both SpaceX and Axiom are creating the next generation of spacesuits. SpaceX is focusing on Earth orbit and possibly Mars. Axiom is focusing on moon missions with NASA. Both are showing how private companies can play a major role in the future of space exploration.